is titled Running in the Pacific Northwest, mm. December. Mm. Light snow clings to black tarred street. On both sides of the road, white lawns, white open fields. Ahead, Olympic mountains rise into winter, carrying their snow up with them. This is my first white Christmas, and I am 34. Running in shorts, sweatshirt, and gloves, I breathe heavily, gratefully. Half a mile behind me in a two-bedroom house with two redwood trees he planted out front when he moved back from years in California, my father sits on a worn brown sofa in a room heated by a wood stove, taking oxygen through a tube in his nose, coughing into large Kleenex. He's dying from emphysema. Eventually, he will drown in phlegm, and I will be there. He'll be propped up in a chrome and white sheeted hospital bed in the middle of June, and he won't have said a word to anyone for weeks. I will have arrived just 30 minutes before, held his hand since I walked into the linoleumed room. I won't ever know if he heard me say, hello, and it's all right. When he stops breathing and his hand falls slack in mine, I won't believe he's gone. It's so quiet like snow falling around me as I run, like a monochromatic Sunday afternoon in December, as unceremonious as my first white Christmas, when I run in light snow, my legs turning red from the cold, and my ears feeling big from the cold, and my heart melting right through my shirt.